This video will teach you how to perfect the first 20 minutes as Lena. You know how to select your hero as you move? Like hold, uh, hold on to yeah, your camera. I, yeah, yeah, the, the I have his uh I have it on spacebar. Yeah. Just I'm your, just used to scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's way better to spacebar bro. Otherwise your camera okay. goes like that instead of going like like you follow the direction of the wave. Yep. Plan your board as well, you plan your board. Oh, this is good. Okay. Uh, ah, should be the range. Ah, that, that should have been done so much better. So this part is fine. Now we see one, we see two. We don't just see yeah. this. We see this and this. Because uh, the health is okay. dropping. Mm -hmm. You you have time to set it up for first spell for both. I see. Like now stop hitting this. Change yep. to this. Okay. Because the amount of time you take to drop this, your range creep will also drop this to this already. Yeah. And it's perfect. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, right. It could that could have both both creeps could have been from one one Spell. dragon. Yep. Yeah. Oh nice Harris. Oh no, this is not this is not bro. You're, you you're supposed to turn here already because you need to yeah. use the wave to hold. Yeah, I missed I missed the timing there. It's it's okay for the wave to be under tower. You don't have to be afraid of dragging okay. the wave into your tower because the next wave will come. Mm -hmm. You know the amount of time the creeps take to die under your tower, the next wave will already be pushing up here. So it'll still hold on your high ground. You don't necessarily need to run a circle like this. Okay. Mr. Yeah. See that should have been a slave, right? On that on that creep. Like on this creep. Mm -hmm. Then you get your fairy soul charges and you can start like hitting the guy a few times. Uh Slave, hit him like two or three times, drop him low, then air go back, deny, branch tango. Typically when you're level 2 Lina, you wanna get more trades with your fiery soul, cause you will win yeah. the trade most of the time. Now you're level 3, just spam your slave on him, spam your slave mm -hmm. on him. Nice. Okay, click him, click him. Got water rune here. Slave for water rune, that's good. Slave again, oh yes, that's good. Click him, click him, yes, click him some more, nice. Slave this. Oh man, missed it. Yeah, we still have to work on your last hitting, mm -hmm. still an issue. Yeah. Also, here this was downtime to bottle and take water and come back. That was downtime, cause there's nothing to do. You're allowed to leave. Mm -hmm. I guess, <clears throat> like, that was uh, contesting that one last range creep. Mm -hmm. Would you say not worth sticking around for that? No, this this is, of course, this is worth sticking for. It's just that you oh. landed the right click instead yep. of using your spell without right clicking it down. Because you land the right click, he denied it. If you didn't land the right click, then you could have slaved it. After the slave denied this, then go for the water rune before you come back for the next wave. Contest both of this, of course. Yeah. Oh wait, what did I? What did I do? Did I just stick like, around? Right like after now? this, now, uh, now go, yep. now go. Uh huh. Now go. Of course, that's downtime and the wave's coming. Uh, I'm okay. I'm just going to block instead. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <clears throat> I see. You're going to block instead of popping this, taking water, bounty, uh, bottle full, full health and mana. Yep. Still, like, see, once you're level three, Lina, literally. Just slave off cooldown. You don't even need to wait for like all this setup anymore. Slave uh, off cooldown. Uh, okay. 
Slave off Kuda and hit the shit out of him. Lina yeah. is strong like that. You don't need to do this setting up and shit anymore. I'm 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 leaving off off so much harass off the table then. If yeah. I'm not spamming at, at level three. Yeah. Level one and two <coughs> is more setup creeps. Uh take mm -hmm. favorable traits off your setup creeps. Level three, four, five is more spam slave hit, spam slave hit. Hmm. Yeah. They can't lane. They can't lane because you're you know you know why yeah. they they can lane because you do this. You aggro yeah. like this. Because you aggro like this, you give space. I see. Rather than just slave up click, he has no space. Yep. And and then f because of fire soul, we trade, then I win. You win, for sure you win. This I spell see. does a shit ton of damage. We fire you soul damage as well. Uh, attack speed. You see the trick is when you do this, right? You don't click mm -hmm. from here. You don't right click like this. Because you're going to draw aggro to yourself. Mm -hmm. What you do is you spell, you walk, you click. You walk, uh, you click. Because you need to get out of that. I see. Yeah. Get out of the aggro range. Yes. Or another way to do it is you click when you're outside aggro range. Yeah. Like Lina needs to abuse this uh, window. Where, mm -hmm. where you start from here, you click him, so you activate mm -hmm. aggro, you walk in, you slave, you walk in, you click. See, this will not yeah. draw aggro. Yep. But if you didn't click him here and you choose to slave up click, this will draw aggro. I see. It's It all starts with that, that aggro, because like, those creeps are pulled far back and then you're basically zoning them out, essentially, mm. if you move up. Hmm. I see. I mean, even if you wanted to set up that contested creep right here, you see the creep, mm -hmm. the health, you see the hero positioning. How do we do this? Up, spell, yep. up, click. I see. But you're standing behind too much, even when health is high. That's mm -hmm. the problem. Yeah. There's too much aggro when you're strong. Don't aggro when you're strong. This, this is the problem. You're aggroing when you're mm -hmm. strong. You see this? Right right there. He's he's walking up to you. So why not slave run in and hit him? Mm -hmm. Alright now. Slave. Walk in and he's hit He's at him. half health. He would be almost at a quarter. I just did that. Yeah. Oh, slave didn't hit him or so. <clears throat> yeah, see? Like that. Yes, like that. Yeah. Should we just slave him? He drops, mm -hmm. hit him like two times, he drops some more. Yep. Now walk up, stun him. Walk up, click him. Don't don't look at any of these scripts anymore, look at him. Yeah. See the issue? Yeah. Oh, what, what was that? Oh, you missed your spell, okay. Yeah. You know you can stop the animation of your stun, right? Is that uh, with the stop? Yeah, command? yeah. Just just stop okay. your command. Like right now, press S. <clears throat> okay. Press S. Then. Yeah, I need to get better at that, doing that. This part is fine because you don't have the lead anymore in level five. Okay, now you have lead again. You have lead again. Because mm -hmm. you're level 5. What do we do here? Bottle up, get health. Bottle so up, get health. Again. Hit this creep like one time. <coughs> walk up, uh, hit this creep like one time. Wait for this guy to walk in, slave him. In fact, even here, we have been uh, good if you fortified the creeps. So he, the creeps don't die to shrapnel, then you can beat him like like uh, soon. Okay, here, like 45 now, 45 now. 45 now and just walk up. So he tries uh, to get this last hit, he stays. Yeah. He can't get it, he stays. Then you can walk in, stun, kill him. Wow. Okay, 
stacking because you're not um crushing lane. But I feel like you can crush the lane still. Like like right now, mm -hmm. see the lead so big. Yeah. High health um compared to him level six with illusion rune. How would you use the illusion rune here? I I really don't know how to to use it to my advantage, honestly. Like when do you pop? Normally you pop it when you start the fight on him. Like when you start trading, you use it. Okay. So right now you don't use it yet. You just uh, mm -hmm. like slave him, kill the wave, start running into him mm -hmm. with the wave. Fortify the creeps under his tower. Mm -hmm. Chase him around, stun, pop illusion rune here, alt kill. Ah, uh, okay. I think this is a bit more uh advanced, but um, yeah. are, you, are you able to see it? Like now you have to consider, are you strong or weak? Are you able to kill him under his tower? That's all you need to ask. Yeah. Are you able to kill him under his tower? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Because you're 6. 500 damage. How much yeah. health does he have? 650. All you need is 3 spells and he dies, right? Yep. Excluding your base damage as well. So imagine if you can tally your right clicks plus first, second, and alt onto mm -hmm. him with an illusion rune here with high health. What can go wrong? Yep. Start pushing. See the movement? You stop here again. Right? Yeah. It's supposed to be I white. could up, go up, up, up to up, him. Stun, up, alt, illusion, kill. Die. Yep. Push tower, break tower. In fact, even this, follow. Here, follow. Because you have two creeps left, you have a verify as well. Follow. You have mm -hmm. illusion rune also, you have high health. You have mm -hmm. alt. He's half health. Definitely he dies. Walk with him. Walk into him. Go. Go, 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 go. You see still, like even here. I see it. The opening. Kill the wave fast. Fortify Clear the, the wave. creeps. Clear the wave, mm -hmm. fortify the creeps so your creeps do not die to his shrapnel. Mm -hmm. Right? Of course, don't tank the shrapnel. Like, walk out a bit. Clear the wave, walk out a bit as you mm -hmm. shrap, uh, slave. Walk out, kill the creeps. Fortify the creeps. Kill the wave. Creeps push mm -hmm. into him. Walk past tower, find him. Yeah, I think uh, I've tried uh, pushing and then fortifying and then walking in. Yeah. And then my it's like clunky and I'm like, oh, I can't get a kill and I just kind of shamefully walk <laughs> walk back. <laughs> so, I'm just, yeah, just tried a couple times, but I, I think maybe there's one time I was able to like get a kill, so that felt pretty good. See, anyway. the question is when you decide to do it, is it when the guy can die or do you have advantage or what? Or do you do it when you're even or losing? Because you have yeah. to know when you do it, you must be ahead. You yep. must be able to kill them. You must be able to zone them. If you're not able to kill or zone them, doing that, you're just going to put yourself at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. See, still, this guy, he dies. If you're standing here, he dies. If you're walking here, he dies. If you're walking here, he dies. Oh. Also, how come your spell is, uh... Oh, okay, you're playing a uh, right-click, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I did, I did mostly the magic build, uh, but tried, tried right-click for a few games. Okay. Okay, now you start jungling, cause clearly you can no longer do anything in lane, sure. That's good. Now, now you start this, yes. Really good. That's good recovery. So, okay, so right now the sniper and I are pretty even, yep. but it, would you consider that, like, actually it's not really the case because I should have been more ahead, like, based on just, you know, how things went? Like, I should have been able to get kills and, like, you know, left that off the table. Of course, man. You should have been level yeah. 9 to level 6 if you did mm -hmm. it right. Because the sniper gave you a lot of opportunities to kill him. Yeah. He did not respect you, but you did not see the opportunity to abuse his disrespect. Mm -hmm. 
Hey guys, before we continue with this video, I would like to just take a quick moment to ask that you like, comment, share and subscribe to my videos and YouTube channel. Your support will really help me grow my channel. Also, you can check out my Fiverr page if you are interested in coaching sessions with me. Thank you. Like see now, look at top, what's happening top, you have to check. What's happening top, what's happening bot side here, because these yeah. are really close to tower. Yeah. This you don't come yet, because this is not a kill yet, but if they dive deeper, you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, now haste ring go, yeah, for sure, they die, go. This good, this is very good. Nice. Nice. You're done. Uh, TP back to mid, push out the wave. Okay, hit the tower, yes, good. Once you break the tower. Oh, they TP to defend, so you can okay, you can still break the tower. Good. Alright, now, that, that's wrong. Don't come back, why do you come back? You break tower. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing we think about once you break tower? Uh, You want to ward the, hmm? the jungle? Hmm. Go you're jungle. thinking about this, you're thinking about this, you're thinking about this, right? So are you allowed to move in now? Look at the map. Dragonite sniper. Ricky does uh, Can you yeah, move like this? I should move in. Yep. Can you plant a ward like this? Can you farm the camp like this? Can you take it and you stack it? Twelve minutes. Can you go for power in after? Can you come back yep. to lane and clear the wave? Now because of the ward you planted earlier, you're given so much information to just come mm -hmm. in and take away their farm. If sniper decides to farm alone here, he dies because you see him. Mm -hmm. But if you choose to walk back, Look at what you're giving up. Yeah. This. Yeah, see, still. Like, look at this. You take the arcane rune. What do we know? Mm -hmm. We see top side. We see bot side. We see mid. Who is here? Who is here? Nobody. Nobody. Maybe a Dazzle down here, yep. but who is here? Nobody. Yeah. Now next thing you yeah. consider, are these kills? With everyone around, are these kills? Uh, yeah, I would say no currently. Uh, no currently, but well, potentially. Potentially, potentially, because there's four heroes, pain, yeah, yeah. And you have Arcane Rune as well. Yep. But the key thing here is, you see the wards, you see this area. You see this area. Yep. You see this as well. Are you able to kill the sniper, do you think? Uh... Maybe. Maybe, maybe. 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 Yeah, maybe. But can he kill you? Can I he catch him with you? a stun. Yeah, if you catch him with a stun, ult for spell, hit him. Yeah. Potentially he dies. Easily he dies, mm -hmm. actually. So, what's the play now? What do uh, you. What should you be considering well, to do? Well, the sure, the sure yeah. thing is I can ward for free. So exactly. I'd probably exactly. go in yes. to the top, since I'm around top, ward it. And I can, I can take the jungle and wait for something to to develop at top if there's a kill potential mm -hmm. um, and then so, so either is... so I can stick around in jungle and then go for a kill if it happens this is one option this is the yeah. second option yep if I'm in your position definitely I go for this I mm -hmm. go for this I go into this I do this I go into this and another one is flying out again I see now look at my map all of a sudden look at the map you get vision, you get vision, you yeah. push this in, you get vision. Oh my god, look at mid lane now, dude. In 30 yeah. minutes. See what happens is that it's now, now the kill opportunity is gone. There's no way you take this fight yeah. anymore. It's no longer good. Yeah. This is no longer good. Earlier it was good, now it's no longer good. What's the difference now and just now? There's a dazzle here. And their positioning are way worse. Your teammates are way worse compared mm -hmm. to what was earlier. I look at the positioning here of the enemies. See, there's so much information, so much vision. But yeah, still, pick this, pick this, pick this, kill this, yep. push this, pl uh, buy another ward. Farm this, plant this. Then come back yeah. here, push this. Then maybe you TP top if they keep fighting.
Yeah, see what you're doing now? You see this? It should have happened how how many minutes ago? Let's check. Like right after the, the tower went down. Yes, right after the tower went down. Right here. Yep. Right here. Yeah. Two minutes ago. So you go now, you plan this. In fact, actually right now, go it's here, me close. and one other hero. So I should really... Well, he's... He's low. <laughs> I can't but, consider him. Yeah. Yeah, I can't consider So never mind. Him. Yeah. But you have to consider this, like, see, Dazzle is bot, Ricky is bot, oh, yeah. Dragonite is top, Sniper is mid. What can go wrong, dude? Yeah. This was, this was the opening, the clear opening. Up, kill, up, ward, push, rune, cam, cam, wave. <clears throat> yep. Level 11 and 13. But choose to do this now, bad, bad. Not bad, but not optimal, right? Not bad, but not optimal. Because you could have spent this yeah. amount of time to kill this guy, to take over yep. the entire jungle yourself. Yeah, plus I'm I'm fighting, you know, without my items, you know, so. Mm. It's also r very risky. Yeah, yeah. No, but you should consider this. This, this is potentially, behind. this is not really a fight. This is more like a potential clean up. Mm -hmm. This fight was fine. It looks like a clean up. The issue yeah. was you skipped past all of this before you decided to do this. If you actually had a TP, you know what would happen. You kill sniper, you take their jungle. No, you take their jungle. You kill sniper, you take their triangle. You push in mid. You still TP top, and you still achieve the same thing. Wow. Uh yeah. Yeah. Level twelve. That would be huge. Yep. Plus vision setup information. Everyone did. Oh man, look, okay, so this. You have warded this? Why not go and try? I, I feel like you can kill him easily, man, if you just try. You just ult, stun, mm. stun ult for spell, he dies. Jared being mm. here is not a problem because you're still full health with a Jakiro. Jakiro now is full health. Uh, yeah. Sure, man. 100% sure, man. Sure, you know, now Lina's uh, stun is further, the range is longer compared to previous. It's easy uh -oh. to hit your light strike already. I mean, I guess I'm not. I'm not looking for those kill opportunities. Place. You're you not know? making place not happen. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because of how you're standing, how you're moving. Your movements are too stuck around this area. Mm -hmm. Instead of learning how to do this and this area, this and this kill, and then add in all the TP to side lane kills on top of this. Mm-hmm. Now you said you lost like 8 of your last 9 matches, right? <laughs> like, are there any games that you felt like you, you actually executed something like this? Or was it mostly you lose lane and you default back to jungle? Uh, I think, uh, I think a good number of them I, I did, I was like losing lane, going back to jungle. Mm. Uh, but also get just getting ganked from the side lanes. Mm. Not from the yeah, people rotating and ganking. Mm. Uh, then it it felt like they were just taking over the entire game, and I couldn't really do anything. Like, mm. yeah, they group up, take the tower mid very early, and then I I have nothing to do except jungle like a couple group camps. So okay. in those games, it feels like you know again the game plan is very thwarted, and I'm not really sure uh, what what I'm supposed to do. I guess okay. to try to catch up. But yeah, it was also upsetting to like, for games like this one where I felt like I had you know good net worth and uh, um, maybe there's another one with Death Prophet as well. But yeah, where it just feels like oh yeah, I feel like I'm doing well, better than before. I guess one one thing I'm struggling with is like, yeah, like how. I guess when to like when do you abandon your game plan of your item build to you know. And when you when do you don't? 
your core uh-huh. items will almost always be the same. The first few items you buy, the first mm-hmm. one or two item, no matter the game yeah. outcome, will almost always be the same. Uh. Like no matter what game you're playing, unless you're thinking about like BKB before Glebnir. So it's like, hey, game is really hard, right? So I go Millstrom yeah. BKB. Then I go back to Glebnir. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Or if the game is easy and you're doing well, it's Glebnir BKB. But that's always Glebnir BKB, you see? Yeah. Those are what we mean by core items. You do not skip the items. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. I think I, I think I diverge from that a little bit too much then. Uh, and then for um for Magic Lena, right? It would be yeah. Aetherlands um, like BKB. This. Yeah. Yep. Yep. In an easy game, you could probably do Scepter first because you feel like you don't die. But if you want to be safe, you can do BKB then Scepter later. Mm-hmm. But these are your core items. Like, whether or not you do Scepter or BKB, you need to get both. That's what we mean. Just like how you need to yep. get Glamour and BKB. I see. Now all you need to, need to do on top of this is knowing how to execute the plan. So I guess here, uh, would you yeah. say I should I should be at closer to top? No, not yet. Near the team or one okay. more item, the item here. Oh wait, that's the travels. That's... Um. Uh no, I don't think so because you do not have yet like a. Yeah. My core items. Yeah. I see. You should so it really is is about getting your core items and then you play with the team. Or yeah, s- or otherwise like it's all about like cleanups. Hmm, I see, I see. Unless even without your core items, you're allowed to like move up. As in your teammates are playing so well that you don't mm-hmm. have like a... Like all you have is a Maelstrom, but the game is clearly already decided when everyone is moving up, every lane is moving up, then yeah, sure, go up. But if that's not the case, then you never really want to group unless you're strong. This this is a waste of time. Yeah. TP down and take that wave. See, still, instead of choosing to do this, how much did you miss out earlier? Look, you push mid. They are three dead. That wave, is that wave safe? Yep. Yes, so uh, go wave. Yeah. Go wave. We see two heroes top. We see three heroes dead earlier. So go wave. Okay, so you go wave, go wave. Now ask yourself again, can you do the next wave? Can you do the next wave? Yep. Yes, because we still see this and this. So go. Yep. After the rune, go. I oh, see already you're walking to top. Yeah. Are these kills? These are not kills. This is a nope. fight. A fight that you're not ready yet because you don't have a black kimbar to survive this. Yep. You don't have a glad near to net this to kill all of this. Therefore the plan should have been back to mid, push the wave out. Then hit the tower. Mm-hmm. Until they start fortifying and defending, coming back to you. Then you start backing back to where? Back to that camp. Because this camp will not kill you. This camp will not kill you. Then that path will lead you eventually to triangle and down. And you go wave, wave, camp, wave, tower. Based on map. I think so. The The big takeaway for me here is the wave. those kill opportunities in the laning stage. And then also... Yeah. The uh, I'm not, I'm still not taking free waves even when other heroes are showing. Yeah. Because like this, this is like the second big time that happened this game. Uh, yes. I had free opportunity to keep pushing mid. Yes. You are sleeping in jungle. Yeah. In jungle, when really you should be pushing out waves that are safe. Even if it's I'd, on your side, yeah. don't be afraid. That's I did start. Um, yeah. I did start doing the hiding in the trees, jungle, and then just spelling, like uh, spamming the yeah. Good. So that that's been working well because I've been getting free like extra Waves. You know, net worth. Yeah. Without without getting caught. See right because you choose to do this. Like look at something like this. Is this a kill to you? Like, is a sniper uh, a kill to you? Do you think you can kill him? Level 14 uh, against a 12 uh, sniper with all yeah. your things up. But wouldn't you be afraid of the everyone, is, everyone else is missing? 
That's so why. That that's why nearby. earlier. Like, look at earlier. Where were the heroes uh -huh. earlier? Where were they earlier? Uh, top. Top. That's right. Top. Yeah. They were all top. Yeah. So clearly, nobody is here now, right? Yep. Now imagine if you actually stood here and you push this out, you push this out and you farm this, you yep. farm this and you're still revol uh, re like revolving around mid, and you see a sniper here. Uh. You see. Like you could have done this. Yeah. Do this. Come to this, see this, and now you're still close enough to kill him. When everyone is still I here. See. This is what we mean by making place happen. Based on where yeah. you're standing. You cannot make place happen if you're standing here all the time. You cannot make True. place happen if you just push a wave and run away. Place only happens yep. because of where you stand. It's not by luck. Right, right. And it was basically what you were saying from last time too was... uh. Uh, it, you know, as you push in the lane and then you hide, it makes the other people appear to defend it, and then yes. that's when kill oh. opportunities come up yes. or play. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I the think I forgot that. <laughs> yeah. Because you're too used to play lane, lose lane, go jungle. Yep. Even when you yep. can win lane, you default back to jungle. After the lane, you break the tower, you still go back to jungle. So you're stuck to this area. You need to expand yep. further. To this area how do i know when to go to this area how do i know how to speed up the laning phase and win so i can start this area how do i know how to start this area and connect to the side lanes as well once you know how to do this man easy games because everyone will start feeding you mm -hmm. right no matter where people are whether it's here it's here it's here it's here you'll always be around yep So your own board, your own control, your own pushing of lanes, your own, your own taking of resources makes the kill happen for you. You don't need to go to them. In fact, they just come to you because you're just warding, warding. Hey, I see a kill. I'll go for it. I don't see a kill. I'll just take their resources again. I keep the lane pushed in again. Oh, I see another kill. I'll take it. It's all beside you.